Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a horror mystery movie called The Boat. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie opens on the coast of Malta, where we see a fisherman setting out to sail in his small boat. He carefully navigates through a water cave and arrives at the open sea. After a while of sailing, the sea's atmosphere changes dramatically, and a dense fog appears out of nowhere, obscuring his view. The man decides to return to the coast, but then something collides with his boat, causing it to shake violently. He stumbles and nearly falls overboard, but he manages to steady himself just in time. A few moments later, the fisherman spots a larger sailboat drifting aimlessly in the distance. As he gets closer, he notices the boat's name, Aeolus. He repeatedly calls out to someone on board, but no one answers him. Curious, the fisherman decides to investigate, and before jumping onto the larger boat, he uses a rope to tie his small boat to it. He then goes inside Aeolus and is surprised to find it empty. However, the ship does contain basic necessities, such as food and water. The fisherman also finds a radio and attempts to contact someone through it, but he once again receives no response. After Exploring for a while, the fisherman decides to leave and goes to the deck, but to his shock, his small boat has mysteriously vanished, even though he had tied it securely. He then grabs binoculars to look for his boat, but the fog remains dense and he cannot see anything. Shortly after, the fog eventually clears, but his fishing boat is nowhere to be seen. The man then attempts to start the Aeolus' engine so he can steer towards the coast. Unfortunately, the engine is not working, and he has no idea where the boat is heading. After this, the fisherman goes below deck, where he notices a bathroom door door suddenly closing by itself. However, he does not think of it and opens the door again. He then uses a map he found and tries to navigate his position. Following this, the man returns below deck and grabs some tools to repair the engine. After some effort, he eventually fixes the engine and steers the boat in the direction of the coastline. This provides the man some relief, and he believes his luck has finally changed. He tries to request assistance over the radio, but receives no response. The frustrated man then attempts to urinate in the sea, but one of the sails hits him, almost knocking him overboard. Fortunately, he catches a railing just in time and jumps back onto the deck. Since the man still needs to pee, he goes to the bathroom and begins relieving himself. Just then, the bathroom door closes on its own, leaving him confused. He thinks it's just the wind and ignores it, but after he urinates, he can't get himself out. The man desperately tries to open the door, but it appears to be locked from the outside. He takes a coin from his pocket and attempts to twist the lock, but it doesn't work. The man then opens the drawer behind the mirror and is shocked to discover blood stains inside. Regardless, he doesn't think much of it and grabs a pair of scissors instead. He tries to unlock the door using them, but is unsuccessful. Shortly after, he hears a voice on the radio outside, which informs him of an approaching cargo ship and urges him to steer his boat to avoid a collision. The fisherman then notices a small window in the bathroom and opens it to see a large ship getting closer. He frantically tries to get their attention, sticking his hand out and throwing his clothes, but to no avail. The man even tries to stick his head out the window, but it is too small and he can't fit through. Moments later, he notices a rope hanging from the bathroom window and throws it into the water. This eventually gets tangled with the propeller, slowing down the sailboat and avoiding the collision. Unfortunately, the rope gets caught around his throat and starts strangling him. After an intense struggle, the poor man manages to loosen the rope, but he collapses unconscious on the bathroom floor. After a while, he awakens and hears some noise outside. The man thinks it's a person and calls out for help, but no one answers. He then discovers that the rope has been severed and that the boat has started to flood. Soon, the bathroom begins to flood a well, but he is shocked to learn that it is fresh water. The man suspects that someone is playing games with him and begs them to release him. He clarifies that he was not trying to steal anything and simply came here to check, but to his disappointment, no one answers him once again. Since he is dehydrated, he drinks some fresh water, but it also quickly stops coming. In the evening, the bathroom starts flooding again, but when he tries to drink, he realizes it's seawater this time. This terrifies the man, and he grabs a small jug to throw the water out in small amounts. To make matters worse, a storm hits unexpectedly, causing the boat to shake. The man tries to grab anything to avoid injuries, but he's hit multiple times. The water level also continues to rise in the bathroom with each passing moment. Reacting swiftly, the man attempts to cut the rope that controls the canvas with a small blade, but he accidentally hurts his finger, causing him to scream in pain. Despite this, he doesn't give up and eventually manages to cut the rope. With the canvas now lowered, the sailboat finally stops moving 
bringing him some relief. He then closes the window and huddles into the sink to avoid drowning before falling asleep. He tapped out. The next morning, when the fisherman wakes up, he realizes that the water has risen up to his neck and his whole body feels cold. With nothing else to do, he starts kicking at the door again, but it does not even budge. He loses all hope and starts to believe that he's going to die here. But a few moments later, he suddenly hears a clicking sound, and when he approaches the door, it turns out to be open. The man believes that someone is deliberately torturing him, and he looks around for them but sees no one. He then heads to the deck where he finds multiple buoys. The man knows that the boat will sink at any moment because of the leak, so he comes up with a plan. He attaches the buoys to one of the broken doors he found and prepares a makeshift boat. Shortly after, the man puts this newly created raft in the water and gets on it. He sails a short distance away and waits for the Aeolus to sink, but it doesn't happen. After waiting for a while, he realizes that it's not going to sink, so he boards the sailboat again. Following this, the fisherman repairs the leaking part of the ship to prevent water from entering. He builds a simple water pump for draining the cabin and also repairs the hull. He then uses the radio again, leaving several messages requesting help, but doesn't receive any response. Shortly after, as the man is engrossed in his repairs, he notices a freighter sailing in the distance. This gives him some hope, so he quickly gets on his makeshift raft and begins to sail towards the freighter. But moments later, as he turns back, he notices the Aeolus racing towards him at full speed. The man tries to sail faster, but realizes he cannot get away from it. This forces him to jump into the water and his makeshift raft is shredded to pieces. At this point, the sailboat comes to a halt, and the fisherman realizes it is some sort of haunted or supernatural vessel. He then decides that he'd rather float aimlessly in the water than get back into the evil boat again. The scene then cuts to nighttime, and we see that the man is still floating in the cold water. Moments later, he is startled by something and gets scared, but it turns out to be a friendly dolphin. <coughs> A few more dolphins also show up and begin playfully jumping around him, giving him a brief moment of happiness. However, just then, the Aeolus reappears, startling the dolphins and scattering them away. This disappoints the fisherman so greatly that he shouts at the dolphins not to leave. He then begins to feel very cold. So, with no other option, he climbs back onto the eerie boat. Afterward, he heads to the bed, covers himself with a quilt, and falls asleep. The next morning, when the fisherman wakes up, he feels extremely weak and drained of energy. He looks outside and notices that the boat is moving at a rapid pace. When he tries to go outside, he discovers that the main door to the deck is locked. Moments later, the man hears a strange sound coming from the bathroom and decides to investigate. There, he finds a small hatch in the corner, which he hadn't noticed before. The man opens it and discovers that it leads to a cramped storage area. However, as soon as he enters there, the small door slams shut, trapping him once again. He also hears footsteps in the distance, which terrifies him even more. The man desperately tries to open the window above him, but he's unsuccessful. Meanwhile, the boat approaches a small seaside town, which could be his last chance to escape. He continues to hear footsteps, so he begs the unseen person to stop the boat. He also breaks down in tears, claiming he can't take it any longer. Soon after, the fisherman begins to have difficulty breathing due to a lack of oxygen in such a cramped space, but just as he's about to lose consciousness, the hatch door opens automatically. The man assumes it's just another trick, so he carefully makes his way to the deck to his shock, he discovers that the boat has now docked near town. He then jumps off the vessel without wasting any time and finally breathes a sigh of relief. Following this, the fisherman finds himself in a strange town with no one in sight. He picks up an iron bar from nearby and starts searching for the culprit who did this to him. However, the only things he comes across are abandoned and decaying buildings. There is no sign of human activity anywhere, though a few ships can still be seen docked in the harbor. Shortly after, he hears some noises in the distance and notices that Aeolus is preparing to leave. He starts walking towards it, hoping to see where it's headed, but the boat vanishes into thin air, leaving him stunned. In the final scene, the man aimlessly wanders around the island, confused and unsure of his location. After some time, he inexplicably reaches the other side of the island, which is the same place he had left at the beginning of the movie. He's shocked to see his small sailboat, the one that mysteriously disappeared days ago. As the camera pans out, we see several people nearby, enjoying their vacation as if nothing unusual had occurred. The movie then concludes with a shot of a small opening in a water cave that leads into the vast ocean beyond. In the distance, we see the eerie sailboat one last time, seemingly on the hunt for its next victim. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.